Discord is already frozen. I need to put some toe, war toe warmers on this cord, it's already frozen. Good morning. Good morning, Cleveland. Good morning, Akron. Good morning, 330. Good morning, Northeast Ohio. It is a little bit after 10 o'clock. We are live in Cleveland, Ohio from the Muni Lot. Right now, as you can see, we're starting to fill up. We're about a, about a quarter of the way filled right now as far as the regular lot attendance, but some of the big boys are already here. You can see we're going to start walking up that way right now, but we got some fans that are waving at us. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here, folks. Uh, right now, uh, my goal is basically to find out why are people here. Uh, you know, everybody, everybody's here for their own reasons. So right now, we're gonna we're gonna walk around. We're gonna check it out and uh, see what's up. You guys are the first to wave at us. We'll come say hi. How you doing? Where are you guys from? Pennsylvania. Clarion, Pennsylvania. That's that's like Stiller's territory. But you're Browns fans, right? That's uh, that's Cooks Forest, right? Yeah. Right. I used to go. We used to go camping there when I was a kid. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. So, what brings you to wonderful Cleveland today? What are your What are your thoughts on the season? What are your thoughts on everything that's going on? Oh, it was depressing. I watched every game. It was depressing. <laughs> it was absolutely terrible to watch. But we're here to celebrate the perfect season, so we get something out of this season, you know. All right. So moving forward, how? Where are you guys on on the status of the team, the status of your organization, the status of our ownership, and and what do you think about the direction that we're going as far as with players? I think we should take two quarterbacks with our first two picks because <laughs> we screw up so you can't go wrong with two. You know, we screw up so many. We got to go safe with it because we get we need a quarterback. That's it. We just need a quarterback. Go ahead. So, uh, no, no, I'll, I'll let me. As far as heading over? Okay. Because it, it starts at noon, though, right? It does, but they want to serve before 11. Okay. Okay. Like the floats or just the people? The people that are in the parade. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're. So if you guys, I don't know if you're coming there earlier or whatever. I figure you're partying wherever we go. Yeah, we're just, we're just hanging out right now. We're just hanging out right now. Well, thank you guys for coming. We appreciate it here. Um. I got a little card for you. We're three throw to go. We're out of Akron, Akron Ohio. Okay. We do a, a Facebook live show and, and a podcast. Okay. So, uh, what's your first name? Adam. Adam. Adam from Clarion, everybody. Here, I'll give you one of these cards. Oh, take take one of those. Take one of those right there. Come on, God, we can't even, dude. Too. Fingers don't work. Fingers don't work right now. All right, so yeah, check that out. You'll you'll find us on Facebook Live. You'll find yourself. You're our first interview, so enjoy it, man. <laughs> What's up, man? Is this a is this a father son duo right here? Father daughter. Father daughter. She's just it's a it's a gal in there. Good job. You're all this guy. So well done. Where are you guys out of? Uh, it's Barberton, just south of Akron. Barberton, just south of Akron. Yeah. My my day job office is located on Tuscaroras, uh, okay. directly across from the Magic Theater Company. Okay. So I, I work at Barberton. So welcome, welcome to the 2.0 parade. I'm I'm sorry as a kid that you have to go through this. Okay. What what uh what's your thoughts on the season? What's your thoughts on the Browns? Why are you guys here? Thoughts. Um well why we're here, I I've been coming here for thirteen plus years. We tailgate. I bring them here and there. It's just a fun thing to do. Okay. You know? Okay. 
I mean, what are your thoughts on the parade? Uh, I think it's fantastic. Okay, why for it? What, what we've discovered is it's a very polarizing thing. It's almost as, like the election. Well, it's like the laughing stock. Yeah. So it's kind of you know we're laughing with everybody too. So okay. it's okay. I don't know. All right. Well, hey, you you guys have fun. Uh, stay as warm as possible, and, and we'll see you down there. Okay, we're three three out to go. Like I mentioned uh, to them, we're uh, out of Akron, and it's a Facebook live show. Um, so I'll go ahead and give you this, and you can find yourself in those interviews. Okay. I'll uh, do the Facebook, but I know there's people that do That's okay. I can't. My my fingers no, my fingers are not working. But you can you can go to the website and you'll uh, right there, and you'll find the actual podcast itself as well. All right. Have a good day. Let's head over to this group. Got a group over here. Hi guys, we're checking in and saying hi to everybody. You're on uh, you're on Facebook Live in Akron and Cleveland right now, so say hello. All right, all right. So, so uh, w- yeah, we've been followers of McNeil on Twitter for for quite a while now, and it, it, you know, it, I I interviewed him on Wednesday, and the first question I asked, one of the questions I asked him was, what was the first thing that went through your head? when Corey Coleman dropped that pass. And he was like, oh, crap, we really have to do this, okay? Well, the biggest question I have is, what went through Corey's mind when he dropped the pass? Oh, crap, they're going to have the parade. <laughs> well, and the, the thing about that, I don't know if you, if you watch the rest of the game, like maybe a minute or two later, uh, Kaiser was sitting on the bench with Co- his arm around Coleman. So to me, that, that showed some, some well, growth. You're probably telling him, do you realize that they're going to have a parade now? You <laughs> idiot. <laughs> All right, where are you guys from? Are you out of Cleveland? Yeah, we're in Cleveland. We're in Columbia Station. Okay, I'm, I'm out of Cleveland. Bus over there is mine, so. Columbia Station. I, I, I own a DJ business, and I'm at the White Hall out there and at, at Columbia Ballroom all the time. Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm booking, I booked a wedding uh, this morning at Columbia Station because he- Heidi and Shane run that place. Okay, cool. Yeah, so um, point being, where, where, oh, look at this. You guys got a float? Oh, yeah. We got a float? We got a. It's a t- <laughs> check it out, folks. We got a we got a, a, a toilet bowl floor. Are you going to be tossing? Oh, you gonna, no, they're going to be they're, 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 a prize for Cleveland here. What, what's you, uh, you're you're incognito, so don't tell us your name to protect the innocent. But uh, what what are your thoughts on where we're at as an organization and how we're moving forward? We have a long path ahead of us here. I'll tell you what, my opinion is, if they get the quarterback they need, this team's going to win games next year. Well, I think that too, and I've been saying I've been saying for about two months now, get Saquon Barkley and Josh Allen right off the rip, or any one of those guys, and bring a veteran in here as well. Bring a quarterback in that does not throw interceptions in, in the red zone. Yeah, Cousins or Smith or Bridgewater, someone along those lines, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's for the, as far as I'm concerned, if they if they traded for Alex Smith, I'd be happy for that. Yeah, you know. But and then draft and then draft a quarterback uh, to learn. Two years, though. Yep. You know, I mean, yeah, but two years is two years. Lessons, you know, nobody would. Okay. I mean, bring so, a quarterback in. This this team could win games. Yep. I really believe Here's that. Here's the idea of a theory for you. All right, let's say that we um, that the whole plan all along was a three-year plan, and I believe it because Hugh would have gone if it was a two-year plan. Right. I think Haslam promised him three years, and that's what he's doing. Maybe the whole idea of the analytics was the first two years was to compile the picks for the third year, and maybe the whole idea was that guy was going to step down, and they just made it that they were replacing him as a part of it. It might have been the plan the whole time. Sure. And now, what, all these picks? Now, a funny thing somebody on my bus said, we take a quarterback with all the picks because if we screw them all up, nobody else can have one. But, you know, seriously, we pick a whole bunch of good players now with a real football guy, and maybe we actually get this thing turned around. If you ever watch the... If you ever watch the shows, uh, uh, you know, Pardon the Interruption Around the Horn, ja- Jackie McMullen, that was one of her theories that Sashi Brown will be given a lot of credit in several years from now in regards to what he has done to set this organization up with all those picks. Yeah, they pick on him for the second-round pick that we basically bought. But, I mean, that's brilliant. Second-round pick's worth the money to do that, and then you hopefully get something for him so it doesn't cost you the whole contract. But, I mean, the, the moves they made were groundbreaking. They didn't do them in football before. Sure. All right, well, we, we appreciate you guys being down here. All right. And uh, have a good day. Try and stay as warm as possible. We're going to walk around a bit. Yes, sir. There's, there's, in our lives, it very seldom happens that we're actually perfect. Okay? And even if it goes against you when you are, you still have to stop for a moment and celebrate that moment. 
we're perfect twice this year. That's right. We were four and zero and zero and sixteen. Preseason. That is actually unbelievable. Is how perfect perfect that is. <laughs> Celebrate it. Enjoy it yourself. Is, it is. We're the only Browns. There's twenty other teams that are sitting home right now, and they packed all their stuff in the garage, and they're gone. And we're sitting here. It's five degrees outside, and we're out here tailgating and having a good time. We're so much more valuable than any fan base in the NFL. It is not even laughable. There you have it. Woo. Yes, sir. You know, considering the social climate we live in, the way that people uh, express their anger or dissatisfaction or something, isn't this quite a creative way to express? I mean, we're not going to burn down the stadium. We're not going to, you know, uh, pollute the river, knock down buildings, break glass. This is our productive way of saying, you know what, we're pretty ticked off. Can I swear a little bit? A little bit. Like, we're pissed. We're pissed off, yeah, you know? Yeah, you know, we're pissed. And, you know, is this, is this quite a productive way to show that we're pissed? Instead of, like, burning down buildings or breaking glass? Well, Leave me alone! Yeah. I'm a fan! Leave me alone! If you don't like it, <laughs> Well, the, the, the thing is, it, it has been almost as polarizing as the election. Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. P and, like, when we said we were going to be down here to cover it today, we got a lot of flack for that. Really? And especially... Well, you're not a fan. You're adding... Like, listen, the people are laughing at us whether we have a parade or not. Wake up! They're laughing at us. And you know what? We're saying, you know what? You can't laugh at me. We're laughing at you. You know, whatever. We're turning at the tables. We're doing whatever. You know, we're laughing with you. You can't laugh at, with, at us if we're laughing with you. <laughs> where are you from? I'm from actually Kent. Cle I grew up in Cleveland, live in Kent. Yeah. Live in Kent. We're, we're out of Akron, Ohio. Okay, yeah. Kent. So let me, uh, they're, they're, yeah, they're. These guys, you see this float? Did you check out the float? I did. I did. These guys right here are the masterminds behind it. These two guys are the mechanics, the hands, the, the money. And the wife of which is actually without her, nothing could have happened. Well, absolutely. That's why wives make the world go round. We know this. Does anybody's fingers work? You guys take these. This is our show. We're three throw to go. We're out of Akron. And we're broadcasting live. And, and they're going to pick this feed up all over the place right now. So go ahead and look for us. You're going to be in section two, which is called the Muni Lot coverage. Where are you ladies from? Are you all the wives? Is that what I was hearing over here? I'm married to Wins Zero. Okay. <laughs> right. is, he, is, is that his Twitter handle or is it? It is not. Oh, win zero. He <laughs> I get is it. Joe King Trump. Okay, okay. So um, we've had a lot of fun with building this float, tailgating, um, invested a lot of money in game tickets. Again, tailgating isn't free either, so we, we're just having fun. This is my friend Amanda here. I picked her up this morning. I said, let's go. Let's go. Well, I always feel I always we're not season ticket holders. I, you know, and I, I have friends that are, and I usually will, uh, you know, buy tickets off them throughout the course of the year. And I always, in these years, I feel terrible for the folks that are season ticket holders. Um, what, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that from a monetary investment? Where are you with where that money has been spent by the organization? I think that if you're going to invest in a, being a season ticket holder, have fun with it. Make the best of it. If you want to watch football, you want to see your friends, you want to hang out, you want to support the city of Cleveland, continue to be a season ticket holder. Just have fun. There, just have fun. That's all I can say. Right. Okay. We appreciate that. I, I think you. Well, if you want me to, she's shy. She's acting shy. I don't want. I don't. Want, you said Amanda. Okay. Where Where are you guys out of? Out of Kent. You're out of Parma? Okay, where are you guys? Braxville. You guys are in Braxville, okay. Yeah, it's interesting because there's people coming from all over the place, and the first group that we met was actually from Clarion, PA. I'm like, you guys are from Steelers country. What are you doing here? And he's like, I'm a lifelong Browns fan. Um, so, it, you know, everyone, everyone has different reasons for why they're here today, and and I like the last guy. He said the whole the whole country's laughing at us, so instead of allowing them to do so, let's, let's add to it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Here goes. Here we go. Here we go. We're live. We're doing a tester. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. It works. It works. It works. It works. He's he's ready to go. Wins wins zero. Wins zero is ready to go. All right. Thank you, ladies. Enjoy. Okay. We'll we'll be here. We'll be around. Wow. Oh man, that's awesome! That's awesome! <laughs> that's awesome! All right, let's take a let's talk to this group over here, folks. How you guys doing? We're here from three throw to go. Where are y'all from? Everybody, wave! You're on Facebook Facebook Live right now. So, what? 
I hey, check it out. He's got he's got Owen Owen sixteen. Check it out. We got we got the Johnny Swan. He's got the Johnny Swan with him. All right. Well, hey, since you did that, I'm going to ask you, how far back did Draft the Manzel set this organization? What are your thoughts? Oh, they set it back so far. Honestly, would it not have probably would not drafted them. But hey, it's Cleveland. What else can you expect from them? How many how many people were going over under? Right, over under six wins next year. Ready? Okay. Who who thinks? <laughs> who thinks? Who thinks under six wins next year? Under six. You thinking under six? Who thinks over six wins next year? Okay. All right. So my ne- my my next question is: Who do you want to draft as quarterback, and how do we get Saquon Barkley here as well? Josh Allen. Who wants Darnold? Who wants Darnold? Too many turnovers. We got one of those already. Who who want who wants who wants Rosen? Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield is Johnny 2.0. Who wants Lamar Jackson? Okay. What do you what do you want first round? What first pick? Who do you want? You want Barkley? Where are you guys where are you guys all from? Just yell out. Alert. Okay. Who said Detroit? No. Okay. Where at? North Olmstead. Parma. Okay. We're all here from all over the place. What? What do you say? Bring Pryor back to play quarterback. Let him sling it. All right, guys. Have fun today. Try and stay warm. Look us up on. You're on Facebook Live right now. It's three three zero to go. Okay, look it up. Three three zero to go. That's why we're here, baby. It's probably. It's probably. It's probably gonna be all over the place. Here we go. All right, we're gonna go say hi to the buses, and then we're gonna head over to the parade. We'll see you guys over there. Right. Okay. All right. Let's. Let's, uh, how you doing over there? Let's go take a look at the buses. Oh, we got, we got, we got, looks like we got parade shirts. We got parade shirts. You guys are offering parade shirts. How you guys doing? We're on, you're live on Facebook right now, 3 3 to go out of Akron. Uh, you got, just so we know, the, we'll let people know how much your shirts. Okay, 15 for everything. We got Cleveland Browns with no win. A team without a W, 0-16. We got 0-16. We got a being a Browns fan was easy. It would be called your mom. There you, <laughs> there you go. All right, so uh, folks, if you're coming down to the parade today, there's, there, there is merchandise available for purchase as well. Uh, so let's go take a look over here. We got the buses. It looks like they're gearing up to go over to the parade. I say we wrap it up here from the Muni. Hey, hey, folks, hey, guys, where are you guys from? Where are you covering with? We're just doing a little doc on uh, the day. Oh, you're doing a documentary. Okay. We're here, we're here with 3 3 to go. Uh, we're, a, we're a Facebook Live show out of Akron, Ohio, and we do a lot, of, a lot of variety, but we did some Browns talk recently, and we actually had McNeil on as our guest on Wednesday night. Oh, cool. I was, we were one of the only media outlets to allow him an opportunity to share his thoughts for half an hour without, without people yeah. crapping all over him. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's been, an interesting, it's been an interesting week for us. Um, so you guys have fun, enjoy, try and stay warm. Yeah, you too. All right. What's the name of the documentary? So we'll, we'll pop. Uh, did you name it yet? Not yet. No, okay, yeah, okay. Well, fine. Yeah, yeah. We got we got plenty of footage. You can rip it all you want. Here, I'll give you. My fingers are not working. I know. Be careful. You take your gloves off for like more than a minute. They start to freeze. Hey, I got yep. warmer. It's wrapped around my cord. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks. All right, guys. Well, yeah, stay warm. All right, we'll be in touch. We're out of Akron, Ohio. Okay. I see you got your monsters hat on. Yeah, that's uh, the only winner we have. Yeah, that's right. The Calder Cup, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what, uh, first name? Andy. Okay, where are you? Where are you out of? Cleveland. You out of Cleveland? Okay. Cleveland. Yeah. So yeah. what? What? What's your thoughts? Why are you here? What? What are, we, what are we doing here today? I was at the Packer game. Saw the the futility. We've got a terrible owner, terrible coach, terrible quarterback. We need to do something about it. I've had enough. What's the plan? What would you? You're the new GM. What would you do? 
Uh, first thing I'm doing is firing Hugh Jackson. Okay. Hugh Jackson shouldn't be coaching in the NFL, let alone high school. Okay. So we got to get rid of Hugh. We got to get a real coach in here. We got to get a quarterback. Okay. It's been what? 20 years, yeah. it's time for a quarterback. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we were just talking about this with the group over there. You know, who would you draft? Uh, options are Josh Allen, Darnold, Rosen. You know, it doesn't really matter yeah. because at the end of the day, I think we need to get a veteran in here. Yeah. Right? yeah. You look at, we're looking at our options. You know, we got Bridgewater, Alex Smith, Kirk Cousins. You know, those are the, what's available. Yeah. Um, yeah. So of those three, I'd probably try and push Alex Smith and, and keep, keep Kaiser and then draft one of them, doesn't matter which one, uh, and develop both of them underneath Smith. That would be my thoughts. Yeah, you know, that's a good plan. I, I think uh, I think a guy like Eli Manning is available uh, for trade. And you bring in a kid from Wisconsin, uh, not Wisconsin. You, hey, shut up. You bring in the kid from Wyoming. You know, you got a guy that's used Josh to Allen. Yeah, you bring in Allen from Wyoming. He's used to playing in the cold, used to playing in bad conditions. I'm not sold on, uh, on Rosen or Darnold. Right. So right. let's bring in that guy, have him mentored under a veteran that's won, and we'll go from there. Yep. All right, sounds good. You guys enjoy. Try and try and stay warm. We've got to check out your sign. Miss, Mr. Dorsey and Mr. Haslam, we need a real team and a real QB. All right, so Cousin Smith Mayfield. The, everything was cool until I saw Mayfield. All right, so 131. Are you kidding me? All right, there it is. Where are you out of? Where are you out of? What? Where are you from? I'm from Massachusetts. Massachusetts? You really came all the way here from Massachusetts? Is everything ba is everything as bad as it looks over there with all the storm and everything? Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty okay. Good. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, being a Patriot fan, Haven, you know, it, it's interesting because our team can't win a game and they're winning Super Bowls left and right. So, that, you know, that that does like I got friends who are Patriot fans who like do tend to pick on me every now and then. But you know, I'm a Cavs fan, so they're Celtics fans, so at least I got that. You know. That's right. That's right. Well, we thank you for making a drive. It looks like we're all, get, all getting ready to head over to the parade. Okay. All so right. try and stay warm today. Okay. Yeah, we'll Let's go say hi to the buses real quick. Oh, they're backing out. Okay, they're heading over. All right, let's uh, – don't get people peeing. <laughs> it's it's Muni lot, man. Don't get people peeing. All right, folks, we're going to sign off for now. We're heading over – what's up? So, folks, we're going to sign off for now. We're going to head over to the parade area. Uh, we'll be back live over there probably around 11:30 or so. All right. Look at the look at these two. Wait, wave, wave. So take care, everybody.